One of the first major milestones in constructing a house is putting down the footings or foundations. They're not called foundations for nothing, they're the basis of a stable building structure. And if you don't get it right, you could end up with settlement, cracking walls and water penetration. The three factors that determine what kind of footing you require is topography, soil conditions and structural requirements. So whether you're building on a flat or sloping site, if you have soil with high clay or sandy content, or you need to add piers to deal with filled land are all things you need to consider, not to mention the size and style of your house. For a two-storey family home like the CSR house, you're going to need a slab system, which can accommodate the movement in the ground during prolonged changes in climate. The main reason we're using a slab on ground on this side is because it's a fairly level slab. There's three types. There's a waffle slab or a stiffened draft we could use, and now the Cooperlex system. Uh, if we were to go to a suspended slab, we'd have to do a lot of work to get up above the ground, and that's quite costly. We have to extra perimeter brickwork, where as you can see on these perimeter slabs, there's no extra brickwork other than the, the work which comes straight off the slab. Concrete has a high volume of thermal mass, which is really useful in regulating the internal temperature of buildings uh, by radiating or absorbing heat as needed. Uh, mass is useful in most climates, and particularly in cool climates or climates where there's a high diurnal range of uh, nighttime or daytime versus daytime temperatures. However, thermal mass only works when positioned appropriately. Uh, you shade it from the hot summer sun and you position it to attract the warmth of the lower range winter sun. Um, so poorly positioned thermal mass can have disastrous results, uh, whereas strategically positioning the thermal mass in the house can really um, aid the thermal comfort of the internal environment. So the CSR house has the slab in direct contact with the ground, which allows us to thermally couple the internal temperature of the house with the ground temperature. The ground temperature is uh, more stable, which gives us a result that we use less energy to heat or cool the house, which is vital in delivering a sustainable home. The uh, concrete slab that we've used in the CSR house is a variation on the traditional waffle pod slab. Uh, traditional waffle pod slabs use polystyrene void formers. Uh, we're using a system called the Cooperlex dome system. Cooperlex uh, domes are made from recycled plastic and they're forming the domes or the voids underneath the concrete slab by basically forming volumes and pockets of air rather than being a full solid polystyrene block. Polystyrene is uh, quite nasty on the environment and recycled plastic um, PET that goes into the Cooperlex domes is obviously a recycled product so we have much less impact on the uh, environment. We can have a lot of flexibility in how we interlink the domes, whereas the waffle pod systems are purely void formers and uh, in accordance with the relevant codes they should only be placed in single units with a concrete uh, beam in between them. With these systems we can do quite large areas, uh, all interlinked with domes which we call dome clusters and uh, we find that's a, that's a benefit in costs and uh, speed of construction and ease of construction as well. The arching effect on the, uh, on the edges of the domes and also inside the middle of the dome there's the cone shape which gives them a lot of strength as well. The benefit of that is that every corner of the uh, Cooperlex dome bears onto the ground and gives it inherent strength and it's a, like a composite plastic concrete structure which you can't get in other forms of uh, construction for slabs. So with the, uh, the Cooperlex dome system, basically the entire um, Cooperlex pods were delivered onto pallets, uh, whereas most traditional waffle pods using polystyrene, they need one and a half trailer loads uh, effectively of polystyrene. So you have less transport requirements, less waste on site, and uh, less mess when you're uh, forming the, uh, when you're doing the preliminary works for the, uh, the concrete. For this project, concrete's a great choice. It's durable but quicker, easier and cheaper than a timber frame floor, and has many more thermal benefits. Where timber is a good choice for our sustainable home is in the timber frame. Timber is a renewable resource and has a much lower impact in its production than steel, making it better for your budget and the environment. It's thermally more efficient than steel, so it's going to save you money on your energy bills also. It's no coincidence 90% of residential construction 
is timber framed. So we've got a good solid slab on our ground floor, but if you want to keep costs down and still have a solid, robust, thermally efficient flooring material on your upper level, you want Hebel Power Floor. It's quicker to install and costs half the price of a suspended concrete floor and has loads of advantages over a timber floor. Hebel Power Floor is a modular panel made of autoclaved aerated concrete. Each Hebel panel is reinforced with corrosion protected steel mesh, making it incredibly strong. It's made from a slurry of sand, cement, lime gypsum and an aerating agent. This combination creates a chemical reaction that forms tiny hydrogen bubbles and more than doubles the volume of the slurry. The slurry then cures to a cake consistency before being cut to required dimensions. The batch is then cured in an autoclave under pressure at a high temperature. It provides very efficient insulation both thermally and acoustically. This robust material also has a great fire rating. It takes at least three hours to burn from above and up to two hours from below if you have a fire rated ceiling. Heap was a great product to work with. We can use all the conventional tools that we would normally use uh, using conventional particle board floor, substituting a, a timber cutting blade for a diamond tip blade. Uh, it can even be cut by hand. Uh, it's relatively lightweight and uses the same principles as a particle board floor. It's glued down. All we have to do is glue the joints and then screw fix from above and the screws kind of sink into a timber or steel frame below. It gives the same feeling of a concrete floor. It's uh, solid underfoot. It has very good acoustic values. So when you're walking in a Hebel floor above, that sound is insulated from the, um, the floor below. Uh, Hebel is very cost effective as far as the flooring system is concerned. Uh, its initial purchase price is a lot less than a concrete slab. There's a lot less work involved in the installation of the uh, Hebel floor over a concrete slab. Um, from a structural point of view, there's less material cost involved in making a structure to support a Hebel floor. We can use conventional timber framing to support it, yet it has a lot of properties similar to that of a concrete slab. So I've climbed up here on the first floor to show you the benefits of the new Hebel power floor over the traditional method of particle board. Obviously it's 50 mil thicker than the particle board, but not to mention it's got better thermal properties, it's got better acoustics. Have a listen to this. And not to mention it's termite proof, has a much better fire rating and it doesn't warp or squeak. Hebel has very solid environmental credentials uh, and what we had to do to be able to qualify for the Good Environmental Choice Australia label was Hebel's products and systems all had to show significantly reduced environmental loads of at least 30% over their life cycle compared to um, competing products or comparable products. It actually uses a quarter of the resources and raw materials compared to other masonry products. It also uh, actually produces very little waste in the production process. The slurry and even the steam that's generated is actually recycled back into the manufacturing process. And all of our Hebel products and systems are actually modular. So what that means is there's actually a lot less waste on site, leading to a lot less landfill as well. Hebel has a very good reputation within the building industry, especially with the trade. Uh, its reputation is uh, considered as a highly innovative building product and it actually has been used in Europe for over 70 years and here in the Australian market for over 20 years. And speaking of joists, another advantage of Hebel is when combined with a wet area flooring, it provides a natural step down, so you don't need different level joists for wet areas. That's a headache I can imagine any builder would be glad not to have. Our house has a bathroom and ensuite on the first floor, so using Hebel in conjunction with the Cementel compressed fibre cement wet area system is going to save a lot of time and money. Cementel is a compressed cellulose fibre cement sheet. It's dense, very strong and impervious to water. It's a great product for tiling uh, in internal wet areas, but also can be used for any decking uh, systems you may require. It's actually a great partner for Hebel for first floor construction. It's a lot lighter than concrete, but like concrete, it doesn't rot or combust. So the house is really starting to take shape now. We've got a great foundation in our slab, which really sets up the house for good thermal efficiency and a really solid first floor. And it's a great platform to build the rest of the house on. 
Next episode, we'll start looking at different types of materials used for the exterior walls. The CSR house is all about innovation as well as cost and energy efficiency. So we'll be combining multiple facade materials to create some great new looks, but also to help us achieve that eight star energy rating we've been aiming for. Have you ever thought about how or where you might use bricks to their best advantage or mixing and matching colours to create texture and interest? And how does it all tie in with your roof tiles, fascia and other facade materials? If you want more information on the products we've used today, go to csr.com.au and follow the links to download product sheets and manuals. You can also leave comments or questions on our YouTube channel, CSR House Project. We'd love to hear from you. See you next time.